a volume of 50 ml of a 0.350 molar HNO3 solution is titrated with 0.750 molar KOH. Calculate the volume in ml of KOH required to reach the equivalence point. So first things first, you need to write the acid-base reaction between nitric acid and potassium hydroxide. So we have nitric acid plus potassium hydroxide. The products are potassium nitrate and water. So if you check this reaction, this is already balanced. So we are given with 50 ml of 0 0.350 molar HNO3. So let's start with 50 ml of HNO3. We need to convert ml to liters first. So we know that one liter is equivalent to 1000 ml. So, ml of HNO3 would cancel. We have liters of HNO3 left. Then we convert liters of HNO3 to moles of HNO3 using the molarity given. So, remember that molarity is also equal to moles per liter. So, remember, so let's put it here. Remember that molarity is also equal to moles per liter. So when you say 0 0.350 molar, that is also the same as saying 0 0.350 moles per liter. So therefore, we can convert liters into moles. So 1 liter of HNO3 contains 0 0.350 moles of HNO3. So liters would cancel. We now have moles of HNO3. And looking at the reaction, one mole of HNO3 reacts with one mole of KOH. So you plug that into your equation. One mole of HNO3 reacts with one mole of KOH. So moles of HNO3 will cancel. You have moles of KOH. Now the molarity of KOH is also given. 0 0.750 molar. So again, when you say 0 0.750 molar, it's the same as 0 0.750 moles per liter. So 0 0.750 moles of KOH is 1 liter of KOH. So you can cancel moles of KOH. And finally, the question is asking for ml of KOH. So you convert liters to ml. So 1 liter of KOH solution is equivalent to 1000 ml of KOH solution. So liters would cancel. And our final unit is ml of KOH. The last step would be to solve for everything. Solving for this equation, this is equal to 23.3 ml. So the answer to this question is 23.3 ml.